Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another Cubase tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make custom project templates. Okay, for those of you who want to know why you want to do this, in my personal opinion, there are a couple reasons. Number one being it's going to save you a lot of time, especially if you are grouping tracks and using specific uh, instruments and VSTs and whatnot. With every project, it's going to save you time. And number two, when you start up a new project, this is going to make your life so much easier and be, make you more open to more creativity that you have everything in front of you ready to go. Okay, so when you open up a standard empty Cubase project, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, okay, with the exception of this audio track, which you can hear my voice, this will not be here regularly. So in my personal case, what I usually do is, uh, let's say I'm going to add, I'll first start with my folders. So I'm going to add first folder, which is going to be my kick and bass. And then I'm going to add another folder. Let's say this one's going to be uh, instruments. And then let's say we're going to add another folder, let's say for effects. Okay, now within the kick and bass, let's say I'm going to add a couple audio tracks. Let's say we're going to make it two. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two, highlight them, drag them into my kick and bass folder. There we go. And let's say I want to add a couple instrument tracks. We're going to do the same. We're going to add these here. Drag them into our instrument folder. And let's say we're going to add, for argument's sake, two FX channels. There we go. And this is what it's going to look like. And then for argument's sake, let's say uh, for our instrument, we're going to add a instrument group track. So we will add here, add track. Let's say we're going to add a group. There we go. And this one's going to be instruments. We'll add that there. And I'm going to put that at the top. So here we have my instrument group tracks. And now these tracks, I want to root them into my group channel. So what I'll do is shortcut is shift and alt. You will tap here, no bus. This is usually what I do. I'll make no bus. I'll click here and then add with his groups instruments. There we go. And now all of them are added there. And we'll do the same for the effects. Let's say I'll add another group here. And this will be effects. Bring that in. Again, add both of these into the group channel. Again, shortcut is shift alt. And this is, for argument's sake, this is what I want to do. And on my, let's have argument's sake, on my instruments, I want to add a bus compressor. So I'm going to type in my SSL. Oh, sorry about that. Let's say my solid bus compressor. There we go. And I'll do the same for my FX channel. Okay, so now let's have for argument's sake, this is exactly how I want each of my projects to start with. And I'm happy with this. I will now click File. I will click at the bottom where you see here, Save as Template. And then here, you're going to find your preset. You can name it whatever you want. As you can see, I already have two. I have Aerial Start and Project Start for myself. Uh, and let's say in this case, we want to make it a Test Template. And then you will click Oh, sorry about that. My spelling is not the greatest. <laughs> and then you'll click OK. There we go. And it's as simple as that. So now every time when you open up Cubase, right, you will find the option underneath empty. It will have what you called it. In this case, we called it test template. And you'll find it there. And it's as easy and simple as that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it's going to make your projects uh, much easier to start with in the future. If you enjoyed this video, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you.